In this class, we are going to learn about notifications property available in approved human flow element. Let me go to the property. Click on this notification. By default, email notifications are enabled for the human flow element. If we don't want any kind of notifications to be sent, then we can check mark this so that it will disable the notification that is being sent on assignment completed on error kind of thing to their mailbox. Let me just enable. Now coming to the email template, receiver of the email that is the intended recipient to whom the task has been assigned, they can take the necessary actions right from the email box. Now there are two ways. By default, no actions are selected and another is with actions. So with action, user will see all the actions available for that particular task like the approve, reject, ask for more information. You should be very careful when you select de default with actions. Because if you enable email notification for a human task, you can either select default or create a new one for your use. By default, following two email templates are available. Now with action, this contains the outcomes which are defined for the task. Like for example, approve or reject. You can click on these outcomes in order to act on the task using an email client without having to sign into the application. You can also add the comments and attachments to the task. All those things you can do without logging into your instance. Second option is no actions. This contains the link which will take you to the process application instance where the user can view the task and complete it. Here they have to log into that application first. Suppose if you want to customize the email that is the body as well as the subject when the notification is sent to the user that is on assignment, on completion and on error then we can change by selecting this and selecting the template. By default it is saying the parent template that is nothing but the default notification template and this is the subject that is the task it will have the title of this human flow element created by the creator name and needs your attention this you can modify whatever you want you can add over here like you can add something like I'm adding the dummy if you want to customize like I will show you shortly what are all variables available which we can make use in order to construct this with the help of flower bracket so these are the variables at the runtime it will be considering the value that is on completion and on error this applies same what i have discussed for on assignment include as email attachment now we can send the form so every flow element that is coming to flow element or the start we are attaching a form to those elements now if you want to attach these forms directly in the notification we can do that that is by selecting this form as an image this will add the form as an image as a pdf it will send as an attachment as an inline form also it will send so as an image pdf it will send as an attachment in the form form as inline it will show in the body how the form will look like by default none is selected only if we want to send the task attachments what and all attachments we have for that particular task then we can do this by selecting task attachments if you don't want to send the task attachment just uncheck this now coming to the email template let us preview the default template let me click on this it will look something like this whenever the email is sent now if you have selected send the notification with action then you will have actions over here like approve reject user can directly click on this and approve reject do whatever actions required in order to perform that task and this is the body how it will look like suppose if you don't like the default template created by oracle what you can do is you can download a sample let me download this I have opened the sample downloaded default HTML which I have downloaded from here by clicking on this download. Now it will look something like this. If you are familiar with HTML, you should be familiar with this file as well. Now it is exactly similar to what we had previewed over here. Let, let me show you again clicking on preview. So in order to display like this in HTML, those many lines of code you need to write. Again, you can customize the font as well. All those things you can refer any CSS styling and HTML documentation. We hope you already know the basics of CSS and HTML as this is not the scope of this course. This was in high level how we can customize. Now, if you want to create a customized template for your customer, then you can click on this plus button over here. And you can name this. Suppose I am creating this for the customer or so and so project. Project 1. Then I can select the file. I will choose the file what I had downloaded from default. I have uploaded the file and it has updated this section with the code whatever we have in the file. 
we can modify whatever we need in this area or else you can modify that file whatever we have downloaded in any editor like vs code or any other code editors whatever you like or you can edit here as well if you want to preview how it looks after modification click on this preview button on the right bottom corner click on this it will look something like this if you are still not satisfied you can just go back and modify whatever things you want to modify over here and you can just click on again preview and we can click on finish so this was in high level about notification properties we can disable the notification we can enable the notification we can modify the subject we can change the template what we want to use for on assign complete error we can have a customized templates for assignment completion and on error on completion if you don't want to send any notification we can just uncheck this suppose if you want to send the form as an attachment we can send as an image or a pdf if you want to send as an inline that we can do that by selecting over here by default is none if you want to send the attachments available for any task we can just check mark this so that the user will get all the attachments particular for that task when they receive the email notification as soon as the task is assigned to that particular user also we have seen how we can customize or create our own templates like we can have n number of templates for assignment completion error and we can select it from here while creating the customized template if you don't know what parameters you have to use you can just come over to this documentation that is customized notification emails for human tasks under that configure email template here if you scroll down there is a handlebar helpers as well as if you scroll up you will see the list of all the predefined variables which are available which we can make use while we create or customize the subject or a template body within the flower brackets we can provide the details like if you create like this first name last name it will create a data object where you can make use of data association and map those values so by default if you want to make use of any of these values like from user from user id role creator start date of the task title those things you can make use directly here oracle has documented which are the variables which are available at runtime which you can make use of. if you want to have the process id in the form just put the flower brackets within that process id this is case sensitive you have to make sure you copy exactly what is mentioned in the documentation and modify the subject customize the email body also you can have a look at these examples how oracle has mentioned like how you can create those sections like a variable title comma assignee section list null checks how we can do it is mentioned over here sample over here which we can make use if you have similar requirement to in your project now if you scroll down there is a section called as use handlebar helpers here you can add the logic that is the if condition you can check the values and then you can put the negations all those things like the condition check greater than if you want to check expressions with the logic and those things you can do so the first value whatever you see over here in the use handlebar helpers is this sign that is greater than negation equal to all those things with the help of which you can check whether the outcome is approved if approved we can have a customized subject or a body so you can have a look at this documentation in order to get a clear cut understanding on how you have to create your customized template for your project